In this session, we're gonna see a history trail where you can tell how things actually got updated in this bid package and all the different changes along the way. Down here at the bottom, we've talked about details and classifications, and there's another button over here called History. And this basically changes to a history tab that will show you, basically you can look at it by, there again, it's a grid, so you can sort it, so you can look at things by date or by user or phase or sub or what exact changes were made and so forth for pretty much everything that you've done in your grid. So when I first come into here, this is basically every single change that was made through the whole you know, life cycle of working with this project and so forth. But if I wanted to actually click this button to say filter to sell, this is really a cool little feature that actually allows you to go back, click on a cell, and it will show you exactly when any modifications were done to that particular value even. So if somebody's went through like on this one here, I've done a lot of changes to it that uh, you, we could kind of go back through and tell that, you know, we've cleared some conditions and we've added some exclusions to it and we've updated the value to something different and, and so forth. So it gives you a very nice trail of, you know, who's changed what divisions for what sub, even down to what particular dollar amount and things of that nature, or at least what sell uh, and so forth and what the values were updated at that point in time. So, you know, if someone's looking at that and darn, that just don't look like what I thought I'd put in there earlier and so forth, you know, a wonderful way of going back and actually determining who changed what when. So just a real nice method of kind of telling that. So the different things you can click on, you could basically, you know, see that information updated just real time, or you could sit there and look at absolutely everything. And you can also export it out to, you know, maybe an Excel spreadsheet if you want to do some other filtering on it or other things and so forth. So anyway, that's pretty much uh, what the history button is. So it's just a real nice way of getting more information about, you know, how some of these values or when these values got updated to certain things along the way.